Jesus Christ will be revealed in our heart. Lord, I ask for utterance 
I ask, Lord, that you grant me your grace to bring your word expressly, Lord, to your people, to your church. Speak a word in season to someone. Let Jesus be glorified, Lord. Well, thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. New wine. You may have your seat in God's presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I want to thank our father-in-law, father in the Lord, and our mother in the Lord, and the leadership council for the privilege to bring God's word to us this evening. I believe that God has a word for someone in this place, whether on site or online. God will speak to someone in the name of Jesus. I'd like us to open our Bible to Matthew chapter 26. We'll do some long reading a little bit. Matthew 26, I want to read quickly from verse 36 to 46. Then I'm reading with the NLT, I think so. Then Jesus brought them to an olive grove called Gethsemane. And he said, sit here while I go on ahead to pray. He took Peter and Zebedee's two sons, James and John, and he began to be filled with anguish and deep distress. He told them, my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and watch with me. He went on a little further and fell face down on the ground, praying, my father, if it, it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will, not mine. Then he returned to the disciples and found them asleep. He said to Peter, couldn't you stay awake and watch with me even one hour? Keep alert and pray. Otherwise, temptation will overpower you. For though the spirit is willing... Enough, the body is weak. Again, he left them and prayed, My father, if this cup cannot be taken away until I drink it, your will be done. He returned to them again and found them sleeping, for they just couldn't keep their eyes open. So he went back to pray a third time, saying the same things again. Then he came to the disciples and said, Still sleeping, still resting. Look, the time has come. I, the son of man, am betrayed into the hands of sinners. Up, let's be going. See, my betrayer is here. Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43 from verse 1 to 3. But now, O Israel, the Lord who created you says, do not be afraid. For I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt, Ethiopia, and Seba as a ransom for your freedom. I'd like to read it again this time. I want you to personalize it. You know, when we read the scripture, we like to read it like a storybook sometime. Something that happened some <laughs> decades pass. So we're trying to, you know, catch up, reason in our mind, okay, how, how was it like? But in real sense, we need to picture ourselves in the light of the scriptures we are reading. Hallelujah. Let me read verse 2 and 3 again. When you go through the through deep waters, and great trouble. You see? It didn't say if. It said when you go through. So 
It's a question of when. It's not a question of upon stand whether you will or you will not. He said, when you go through. So it's a question of timing. Through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you when you go through rivers of difficulty. You will not drown. Someone did not hear the word of God. You will not drown. In case someone is watching, in case you're here, you're going through deep waters. You're going through difficult situation in your life. God's word to you and I this evening is that you will not drown. That trouble will not drown you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to someone listening to the voice, to my voice, that the trouble you're going through will not drown you. It does not have the power to drown you. Why? Because God is with you. Why? Because it's not just with you. You are his. The mark of God is on your life. So the problem, the difficulty you may be going through or you will go through will not drown you. It won't drown you in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, 